Can you guys hear me? Well, we're live, it looks like, and um, good evening. Welcome to all of the NABJ members. I'm Greg Morrison. I'm co-chair of the Salute to Excellence Award Committee this year, and uh, we are joined by, of course, our distinguished president, Dorothy Tucker. Uh, as always, uh, she's a woman on the go, and the other co-chair of the uh, Salute to Excellence Committee, uh, Sia New Yorker. Uh, good evening to both of you ladies. I know it's crazy times for everybody. Uh, Dorothy, I know you've got a lot of various things to do. Is there anything you wanted to share with the uh, group before we uh, get started? Yes. Uh, yes. I just want to, first of all, thank all of our members for, for signing on to this. Uh, you know, this is an idea that both Sia and Greg had immediately, and that was to host a webinar that we can answer all of your questions. They can. They are the experts. But we wanted to um, make sure that you had... Uh, the information you needed in order to fill out your application, in order to make sure that you enter your work, uh, what's the best category, you know, how was the judging done, what's the best, you know, what's the right category for you to increase your chances of, of winning. Uh, you know, I think, I don't know what the numbers are, but Sia and Greg will share you, share with you a little bit later the number of winners that we had last year. I know it's, uh, the work is amazing. Uh, you know, what we do every year, and, and this might actually be a good idea, is to go back and look at some of the winners, you know, that gives you an idea of just the excellence that is expected. One of the things that we are going to do as soon as we launch uh, NABJ News and Views is to post all of your work. So this year we're doing something a little bit different. We're asking our members to make sure that those who win, that you give us um you give us, you grant us permission to be able to showcase your work so that everybody can see it and they, it can be on our site so that when people come to the NABJ News and View site, they can take a look at the excellent work that uh, that our members have. So with that, I am going to turn it over to the co-chairs, but before I do that, I have to thank each of you so much because you've done this before. I know it is a hell of a lot of work. I also want to thank the, the committee and all of those members who give their time up uh, to judge, you know, all the various uh, entries. It's, it's a labor intensive project. And trust me, we really appreciate what you're doing because this is important to our members. Uh, and, you know, and it's, it's good for all of us. So I'm going to hang around for a few minutes uh, so, Sia and Greg, turn it over to you. Thank you, Madam President, and hello to all of our uh, wonderful, hardworking, talented members. Um, I see you there uh, logging on, and we are so glad uh, that you could join us uh, for this uh, webinar on Salute to Excellence, and we wanted to answer your questions. Um, we've been uh, offering the Salute to Excellence Awards uh, for a number of years. And uh, every season we get quite a few questions 
just about, uh, you know, entries and nominations and finalists and what you should enter, what you shouldn't enter, uh, you know, things like that. And so we, we thought, you know, this might, this is a really good chance uh, for us to speak one-on-one -on -one, uh, with some of you and, and answer some of those questions. So uh, I want to tell you that we are going to be utilizing the Q&A box uh, down there. So if you have any questions um, at all, you can use that, utilize that Q&A feature and we will do our best to answer uh, some of those questions. So uh, first things first, um, our NABJ Salute to Excellence uh, Awards nominations are now open. So you can actually start uploading uh, your work um, all the way through May 31st. And that's going to be our cutoff deadline. We have a, a really, really hard deadline this year. There are no plans to extend it. We don't want people to wait until the last minute. Um, you know, technology sometimes you might wait till the last minute and might have a have some trouble. Uh, you know, uploading or 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 getting that in. Everything is online at nabj.org. Uh, there's a special portal. Portal. You use your uh, NABJ login and your um, your uh, membership number, and and everything is there for uh, professionals uh, and for students. And so. Basically, though, we want to stress that um, the work that um, the committee is looking to see is from January 1st, 2021, all the way up until December uh, 31st, 2021. So for just that calendar year, 2021, all those things that you've done, broadcast, digital, newspaper, photography, uh, all of those uh, uh, things are eligible uh, for us to be um, able to pass on to our judges uh, so that they can review that. I should also add that um, we want to make sure that your submissions, and this is important because every year we, we get a number of entries, it must cover people or issues of the African, African-American diaspora. That's very, very important. So um, there has to be some kind of uh, uh, angle, news angle, um, Character it has to be something with uh, within the black community. Uh, basically, oftentimes we we get some submissions and we're like, what, what, <laughs> where did this come from? Uh, so I th I think that that is really important uh, to to highlight and make and, and make that clear. So um, I'm going to turn it over to Mr. Greg Morrison and let him add his thoughts. First of all, I'm glad to see uh, so many folks have checked in to see what's going on. Um, <clears throat> Forgive me, I'm in, in pollen country here in South Georgia right now. Make sure also, as we pointed out earlier, that anything that you submit has a live link. Yes. That can be very frustrating during the judging process. You go to a link and it's behind a paywall. So if your work is behind a paywall and it'll be there, copy it and just upload it and put it on YouTube. That way we know we'll have it. Um, we are going to add a category this year. Mm -hmm. um, so that'll be business reporting uh, in the digital realm and the same rules apply. The story must be about African Americans or feature people of color uh, as the, the primary characters in the story. Uh, business is an area we have sort of left to one area which is magazines but you know di business reporting has expanded. It is digital, it is all over the place and we'd love to see some of those kinds of stories. If you have questions about what the criteria are, please do not forget to go to the NABJ website. There's a lot of information there as to who, what, when, where, how, and why. Let's talk one of my favorite topics, money. <laughs> uh, for student entries, $45. For NABJ members, $75. For non-NABJ members, $150 entry fees. So if you're entering it and you're an NABJ member, you get the $75 rate. But if your coworker wants to enter something and they're not, they have to pony up $150. Uh, the other thing that we want to make sure is understand, especially in the print side, know your circulation of your outlet. But this has come up a few times in the past, so please know whether or not your circulation is above or below 100000 we were surprised last year when we looked at some papers in major cities that were below 100,000. So sort of keep that in mind. 
And, and uh, let, let me add that that is going to be something that that is a change this year. Uh, you know, we've gone out of our way to add that language that's different. So um, the print entries will be judged on um, what's the wording again, Sia? Not on circulation, but on size of the staff, I believe it is. The size of the staff, exactly, because what we what we found was that uh, some of the some of the other organizations have con have gone to looking at the size of the staff as opposed to circulation because the yes. circulation, you know, you had some major major newspapers that circulation was very low, but their staff was still large. So uh, please take a close, close look at the wording. Uh, and, you know, obviously, if this is a change, this is something that we are going to be paying very close attention to. So make sure that you aren't just guessing, make sure you get that official number from your manager, go to them and say, you know, what is our, you know, what, what is our population here so that you can, you can put that number in. Uh, I just want to make sure that I'm saying that, uh, yes. so I'm saying that correctly. Yeah, you got it right, uh, Madam President. Okay. Newsroom staff size, yes. Okay. Got it right. We also have a couple of questions already. We do. Yes, uh, Javier Sarmiento. Um, his question is, I want to enter the STE Awards for Student Journalist of the Year, but I can't find anyone to do it, and my current professor is unwilling to do it. So can someone help me with the situation? That's special, special honors. Yeah, yes. that's special honors. Yeah. Um, how, do, how are we doing the special honors this year? I know you guys, you two are not in charge of special honors. This is just for Salute to Excellence. We do have two chairs that are looking just at special honors. So what you're looking at that, uh, you know, you have to look at the, uh, the categories for special honors. That could be Hall of Fame. It could be Journalist of the Year. It could be Student Journalist of the Year. Uh, you know, you need to go and, and see what those rules are for, for the other two chairs. I um, I think though I don't know if you necessarily Javier if you need to have your professor uh, if there's another mentor I believe someone has to ha has to write the letter for student journalists it doesn't have to be a professor because we've uh, we've talked about that mm -hmm. haven't we has you you just need yeah. a yeah, it doesn't necessarily have to be a professor. So I implore you to, you know, if there's someone where you interned or a, um, you know, someone that knows your work, you know, it could be another, uh, um, you know, student. Um, yeah, I mean, let's say that you're on the student newspaper, you know, in the editor of the student newspaper. Let's say that you work for the radio station, you know, and is the uh, program director of the radio station, you know, so uh, don't, don't let that block you or, or stop you from from entering. Just find just find some other people who, like Sia says, know your work. Uh, there's some some questions here in the chat. Can you guys see those? Yes. yes. I can. Okay. All right. I know. I know you'll get to them. Yeah. Keith Bryant is up next with a question about chapter of the year nominations. Is it okay for statements from chapter members to be more than 100 words? Some of my members wrote about 200 to 250 words. Again, that's special honors, Keith. Um, the reason why I was asked to keep it to 100 words, when you're looking at multiple chapters and multiple entries and multiple letters, it starts becoming overwhelming. And as journalists, we should be able to tell a story well in a few words. So keep that in mind. But, but also remember that, you know, I, I believe uh, for chapter of the year, you can add links. You know, so if you do, you know, you do that hundred characters or hundred words, whatever it is, you know, you can add a, a, a link to an event that you had. You can add pictures to something that uh, you can add a link to photographs and stuff. So, you know, you can tell this story and, and tell all the things that your chapter has done beyond the words. You can you can show it by, you know, some of the some of the pictures and the video and stuff. So you know, please consider that as well. Okay. And Chris Murray out of Philly. Uh, has a question, can you enter more than one category on the print side? That's his question. I believe you can if... Yes, you can, uh, but you can only enter that one submission in one thing. So if you enter your piece about, um, I don't know, Philly cheesesteaks <laughs> uh, in, uh, you know, digital, you know, photography, you can't enter it in another category. So just one. 
I'm going to hop off. I've got to hop on another Zoom that I committed to. So, um, you know, just text me if there's a question that you guys can't answer and you think I can answer, text me and I'll text you the answer or something while I hop off. Okay. Thank you, Madam President. Right. Thank you, Dorothy. Thank you, members. Thank you guys for joining in. Bye. Christopher Brooks uh, has a question. He has yes. a side of staff question. <clears throat> Christopher, that applies to newspapers, not to broadcast or digital. So the size of your staff, it's really the quality of the work that we're interested in. In this particular area, we only uh, went to size of staff for newspapers because so many newspapers have downsized and are doing more with less these days. I hope that answers your question. Okay. Okay, are there any guidelines for Hall of Fame entries? No new no. guidelines that we know about. We didn't change anything. So, yeah. Good question, Nate Page. Thank you. Okay. And Michael Days has a question. Can you talk a bit about the candidates for the Hall of Fame? Submitted an NABJ member last year, but clearly the competition was tough. Online, it is noted that I do not need to resubmit the entry, but am free to send additional information. What has worked in the past? Oh, I don't. I think that you need to, you do need to resubmit um, the package because we don't, that, that committee doesn't review last year's. They review just the this year's uh, candidates. I don't, I don't know where it said that online, but that, that is not uh, correct. If, if you did nominate someone last year and they didn't make it, you need to resubmit for this year. Absolutely. And it's not just Hall of Fame, it is uh, Journalist of the Year and these, these others. So yeah, think, think hard and long about that. And sometimes the uh, best submission could be somebody that doesn't have a super high profile, but has been working very hard in the vineyards. Mm -hmm. okay. So I want to stress something to my broadcast folks. Um, I've been doing this for a number of years and um, I, we find that one of the biggest things, one of the biggest problems, and Mr. Greg uh, touched on this a little bit earlier, um, these links uh, on the websites are dead. And what happens is if you work uh, for a place and they take that story down and, um, you know, or it just disappears, or I, I know that some of the cable, uh, cable networks, like I'll just be specific, like Spectrum, um, you only get like five views and then you have to be a subscriber. The judges are not going to subscribe. They're not going to pay to go and look at your work. It'll tell you that you've, you know, maxed out and you can't click on that link or you have to pay. And so then what happens is you get disqualified. And when you get disqualified, you don't get your money back because uh, it, it states on in the uh, Salute to Excellence rules uh, that your link has to be live until next year, next January, January 31st, 2023. And a lot of the times people don't read that. So um, we, have, we had a number of uh, entries that we had to disqualify just because the judges couldn't watch the, um, they couldn't watch the, um, the, the piece or they couldn't read it. So uh, I really uh, want to stress that. I feel like that is one of the biggest um, challenges that we see. So for broadcasters, if you think you're going to be behind a paywall, take it, make a copy, put it on a YouTube channel that we can see. There you go. There you Marcus go. Marcus Vandenberg has a question. Is it $75 for a category or 75 will allow you to enter multiple categories as an organization? <coughs> Excuse me, Marcus, it's 75 per entry, per, entry. per story. So, uh, if you want to enter five stories, it's five times 75. Okay. Christopher Brooks, I see you said you understand that the digital media business reporting category is new or a late ad for the competition. Is the portal open for those entries right now too, or do we still have to wait? We are working on getting that uploaded. Um, we um, we got to polish some language. <laughs> we got to polish some language, but it, it, it will be uh, done shortly. And uh, we'll make sure we let you know so that you can spread the word. But yeah, we wanted to make the announcement here tonight on the webinar. So thank you for that, Christopher. One of the other things that people uh, should consider is, especially among the broadcasters, if you're going to submit something, 
make sure most of the content is your own original content. There you go. We saw a lot of this last year where there would be content from outside of the market and then you were trying to localize the story. At least 75% of the work should be original local stuff. So keep that in mind. Sure. Just because uh, you get off the feed doesn't mean you should always use it. So we wanted to let you know that uh, attendees, panelists and attendees, that you can check out the website for details. Uh, we are gonna post some of those links in the chat. So uh, keep utilizing the Q&A for your questions, but if you check over to the chat, we've put some links there uh, for you to be able to click on if you have any specific questions about a category. Okay. Terry Allen uh, just posted a note. Um, if the entries are evaluated and some of the information is no longer accessible, will you notify them or just directly disqualify them? If it's, if it's not done right, we don't have time to call to make a call to say, where is it? <clears throat> so please make sure that it is correct. If it's accessible, it is accurate. It'll make mm -hmm. everyone's life a lot easier. We don't have time. Um, you know, unfortunately, everyone is a, a working, working, and our judges do this uh, in, our, in their, their, their free time. No one's paid. This is volunteer service. So um, oftentimes they are watching and reading these things up until the last minute, you know, so that we can make our deadlines. So we don't have time to uh, chase people down and say, hey, your link is not working. And, you know, can you send it here? Because the, uh, the portal will be closed. You know, the portal's closed after May 31st. It will no longer be open. So there's no way for it to even, you know, upload for us to get the information out. We have a question here in the chat. Can you chat. enter more than one category? Yes, you can. You can enter as many categories as you want. Uh, just pay but, your entry fee. <laughs> yeah, just pay your entry fee. And uh, like I said, and no double dipping. So if you put something in breaking news, you can't go ahead and then put it in a, you know, in feature. It has to be one or the other. Someone asked a question. The category I entered in the past is um, no longer available. It is a waste of money. Is it a waste of money to enter, to enter now in a category that is asking for the piece to be five minutes or more? Is it a waste of money? <clears throat> if my piece is less than five minutes since it's spot news. Spot news is spot news. Yeah, there is. And we have, uh, we, we still have a spot news category. We do. I'm looking, let me see, let me pull up the categories right now. I believe we do have spot news. So, I mean, you know, spot news can be five minutes or longer, especially if it's. Yeah, in fact, like, it tells you it should not exceed 15 minutes uh, because a lot of the times what we see, too, is uh, if a network or someone. Uh, like, say, for example, I'm just saying NBC uh, submits uh, some spot news. Uh, sometimes it tells you you can have multiple live segment so i sometimes what we'll see is uh you know the anchor let's say you know lester holt will start the coverage and then he'll uh toss to somebody in the field and then another person will come in and you know and then you, you know it, it'll build and as long as it's less than 15 minutes it says here um that's multiple elements uh for that one category spot news so that is that is um that's definitely allowed yeah, you know, the problem is that spot news is only in television that's not in radio. Sure. Yeah. You know, um, unfortunately, radio news is withered away in a lot of places, so there weren't that many entries. <clears throat> Another question, can you inform us about media relations? Can you inform us how the entries are being evaluated? And if media-related members that will have input in the scoring and media-related PR entries? We don't disclose how the things are evaluated. That's not going to happen. It's much like asking a jury what happens behind closed doors. I can, we can tell you, though, uh, we do have media related and PR people uh, on our, our uh, esteemed panel of judges. Uh, every uh, profession category is, is represented on our, our, uh, our judges. So we have people from broadcast, print, digital, PR education it's all represented so uh we we work very hard to make sure that our um our judges reflect how our membership looks and so um so that's something that we take very seriously 
So, um, and a number of these judges have been doing it for, for decades now. We have a lot of uh, judges who are returning judges who, you know, they take this very seriously. This is one of their uh, passions and, um, you know, they love doing this work. And so, and then we get some new people too. So we can keep fresh eyes. Okay. All right, Jamal Andrus has a question. Can we get a breakdown of the difference you're drawing between feature long form versus general assignment long form in the TV category? All right, let's see, let me pull it out. Is there? Feature long form. Okay, so uh, feature, I, I, I guess, would be, let me see. A feature is a feature is a feature. It's not a yeah, hard feature. It can be Excellent. a profile of somebody or something like that. So single or multi-human interest story covering issues or people affecting the Black community. Entry should not exceed 15 minutes versus... Okay, I see. So the feature probably general assignment news long form, single or multi-part story covering issues or subjects related to the black community uh, that air during regular newscasts. So for example, um, I mean, during, during a newscast versus feature long form, it might've been a program, um, you know, it might've been, a, you know, piece of a doc, you would only be able to, a documentary or it would, you would only be able to um, upload 15 minutes of it though. So I believe that is what the, the difference, at least spelled out here in the, uh, the criteria. So general assignment, it's no longer than five minutes, but no longer than 15 minutes. But so we it, are, could, it could we be already, like that have been done in a, in a new special. Yeah. But we already know, <laughs> you know, no, uh, nobody's getting 15 minutes for a story in a newscast. If you're a newscast, it's a half hour or an hour. So thank you for that, Jamal. Uh, Christopher. No, you're not asking nitpicking questions. <laughs> no, you're not. It's, this is what this is for, Christopher. So thank you for that. Um, if you have a piece originally published online in 2021, but it was web updated at some point in 2022 this year, does that eliminate it from qualifying? No. It, should, it shouldn't, as long as it you shouldn't. can show that it was originally published in 2021 with the update. Yeah, that timestamp will be there saying August 2021 or whatnot. Um, and then it'll say whatever the update is. It's no, that's not, that's not nitpicky. Uh, and that doesn't eliminate you. Yeah. So yeah, it, it, it falls within the, because a lot of us have um, updated some of our stories. So it's okay as long as it originally was published or broadcast in 2021. Okay, Marcus Vandenberg has another question. Can I submit entries on behalf of my team or does the individual that created the work have to submit on their own? Uh, you can submit it on behalf of the team if you are part of the team that pulled it together. Um, but the first name on the entry on the uh, form will be yours. Yeah. If not, you know, they'll have to pay the uh, non-member rate, so. And just keep in mind too, uh, and we've had this, uh, sometimes um, some of the networks will submit things on behalf, they have an awards coordinator, somebody that just does special projects like these awards. And, uh, and then they'll, you know, sometimes on the back end, you know, say, hey, you know, you, you, you got know we got a nomination for this, so we're gonna add some people. Um, you know, but I, I would definitely ask some of the people though first, you know, instead of just putting putting down, um, you know, just your name. So I, I would definitely ask them first if they're interested. Another question. Let me re-ask my above question since I did not specify that it's a radio category he was asking. Oh. It was, I think he meant, am I? Oh, okay. Oh, the radio. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, because there is uh, no, there oh, is no more, there is no more spot news. In radio. Um, yeah, the, and you know what? What happened is that I believe at one time they did have that category, but they weren't getting any entries, and so there were no no nominations, no submissions, no zero people entered for a number of years. So they might have just zeroed that category. They might have zeroed zeroed that out, and I believe that is what happened. Yeah. I believe that is what happened because I was familiar with that a few years ago. Unfortunately, we know that radio has been taking a hit in terms of opportunities. 
But um, if, if your station republished that as a digital story, enter it in the digital side. That's true. And, and that's an easy way to get, you know, get it past there. Um, hopefully radio will make its resurgence because as I tell people, I have a face for radio and a voice for newspapers. <laughs> so uh, I get it and radio tends to get the short shrift quite often because it's not necessarily glamorous. Okay. Let um, me see here. Okay. Well, that hopefully that answered your question. Great. Yeah. Okay. So uh, Terry Allen in the chat. Thank you. He said everyone needs to know that the entries have to be complete. Yeah, they do. They really do. So check your work. Check your work. Check your work. Because no, nobody's going to double check. And, uh, and, and, just, and just for the record, last year we had over 500 entries to judge. Yeah. And so you know, that meant a lot of late nights for a lot of folks, um, you know, who are, who are giving up their time. So, you know, be considerate of the, those of us who are judging. And no, we will not disclose who won what. Good try from some folks, but not happening. Uh, Chris Murray, I'm trying to get back into my entry to complete it. How do I get back into it? Ooh, that might be a question. Or, um... So, Chris, let me get this straight. You, you started it, but you didn't finish it, and you put it on hold. But you, you're having problems getting back into the uh, into the file queue. Ah, that means that you may have to just resubmit the whole piece. Mm -hmm. uh, you can log back. I'm told you you can log back in. If you didn't submit it, if did you, you hit the submit, submit button? <clears throat> Chris, did you hit the submit button? Not sure, because you haven't responded yet, but. Well, let me see. Uh, we're gonna get, we're gonna ask the national office if you hit submit all. Or you can send a note to contact awards at uh, nabj.org. Oh, so. Contact. Somebody is going to have to go in and manually. Emmanuel, yeah. It's okay. Yeah. Just send this. Uh, I'm typing it right here for you. And we'll help you. Um, Wade through that. You. you did save it. Good. Okay. Then it's in the system. Just may have to give a little jump start. And if possible, folks, when you're um, submitting your entries, if you can print out any of the sheets or do screen grabs of any of this, <clears throat> the information you've submitted, do that as a backup so you know what you are and what you've submitted. <clears throat> I can remember in past years submitting something and realize, oh, my God, I forgot to put in so-and-so's name. <laughs> but it was too late by then. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to think if there's uh, any other questions you guys have. And uh, it, um, if you know any NABJ students, we should, uh, I wanna encourage them to also, um, to also submit. We have a whole separate category just for uh, collegiates. And a lot of the times we only see the same, I don't wanna say the same uh, students, but the same schools. So I think a lot of people uh, don't realize that what that we have several uh, categories: digital broadcast, newspaper, uh, photography for students. So um, encourage a young person to to uh, submit their work. And students should submit their work to the student portal, not trying to compete against the professionals. Mm -hmm. We've seen that happen in the past. So yes. Yes. You may be in a big city and think you're doing all that, but compete against <laughs> yourself. Compete against students instead of the guy down the street who's getting paid very well or at least better than you are to do this. Um, and again, go to the NABJ website um, and see what is going on. Got a question. Alfonso. Hi, Alfonso. <laughs> uh, he emailed a question about PR and marketing campaigns. 
<clears throat> I haven't seen the email yet, but Alfonso, you have to understand, is living in West Africa. I was going to say, yeah, <clears throat> please ask us here. You're welcome to ask us. Or you can stick it in the Q&A if you need to. So that way we can answer it. And if any of you have done anything outside of the country that you thought may be a good story, submit it under international reporting. Please do. And I'm not talking about your vacation to Jamaica. <laughs> okay. And let me see what Alfonso has to share, if he can share with us. Okay. I'm going to check my mail. He might have stuck it in the email. I think he said he was going to type it in the Q&A. Oh, and this will be a live event this year, folks. But that's the most important thing. This will be a live event in Las Vegas. And it will probably be Saturday evening. So uh, get a chance to see each other and shake hands and do all those other good things. Uh, we're not sure the exact format of the event, but uh, it will be live. So rather than having to wait till December for something, we can see it and share in the moment with each other side by side. And remember, this is a joint convention with NAHJ. So there will be a lot of things going on simultaneously. So the sooner you get things in, the sooner we can judge, get that part of it done, have it ready, and you know, make it a, a memorable event. Too many of us have not seen each other face to face since 2019. I had black hair then. I actually had hair then. Stop. Okay, <coughs> Alfonso's question. He says, can you tell us a bit more about the public relations and marketing campaign categories this year? Great to see expansion of categories, though some of the language seems to be the same in the last four entry options, online, media, print, radio, TV though it might not be applicable to each media platform. I think the problem is, is that, for example, some PR campaigns are using, whether it's print, online, TV, or whatever. And just remind folks that if you have an element from your campaign that was on television or online or something like that, to include that in your submission package. It's not saying that it has to be only in that space, but just an example of for example, uh, financial education in West Africa, and you put information in an online platform as well as radio, which mm -hmm. is the preferred uh, means of communications in some parts of the world. But if you can show that, you know, it was, went out to all these areas, then that should be part of your submission, your portfolio submission. And thank you for joining us, Alfonso. We miss you. <laughs> <laughs> and he's a happy man. Good. Yeah. Good. Okay, we have another question in the Q&A box. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it's, um, it is a live event, and it'll be um, a ticketed event separate from our joint partner, NAHJ. Um, I believe FedEx is still on as a partner, but I don't want to commit to that because I don't want to get yelled at. Yeah, it, it's going to be nice, though. We will say, it, it, we can tell you that it is, it is going to be on a Saturday. Um, it, it, it's going to, we are going to honor our people. We're going to dress up. We're not sure exactly, um, you know, what time or, or what all typically it's sometimes Saturday evening. Um, but we're, we're still working it out, but it'll, it'll be good. Cause this is the, this is the first one in, in, uh, since 2019. So, yeah. so yeah. Bring, yeah. bring your high heel sneakers folks. <laughs> we have a lot to celebrate. And Chris Murray says he did get back into the entry by clicking on it, so he'll be finishing it. Great. 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 I'm glad you were able to get through that. Uh, and again, just pay attention as you go through the process. If you have to do screen grabs, just to make sure you have everything done right, that's a good way to back yourself up. And a lot of the times I, what we see, sometimes uh, um, our digital folks uh, do a PDF you know, JPEG uh, files of their uh, work, because, you know, we know that sometimes a, a year is a long time for something to live, you know, on the, on the internet. 
So, um, you know, you're, you're welcome to do that too, as long as we can, you know, read it and, and see it. And grasp it by all means, by all means. Um, let me think here. Uh, oh, also, um, if you collaborated with um, another source, for example, the Marshall Project, I use that as an example, please indicate that on the entry. <clears throat> that it was a collab done in collaboration with the Marshall Project or any other outside groups like Kaiser Family Health Foundation or something like that. We just want to try to get a handle on um, what we're going to do. Sia, you got a piece of video you want to show these folks? Yeah, let me uh, pull it up. Let's see. This is always the fun part. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Oh. Yes, Laura, it is, it is great news. We are so looking forward to seeing folks face to face. You have no idea. <laughs> oh, man, let me see. Give me one second. Let me, um, let me get this. Okay, I see it. Come on back. Let's see. All right, let's do it. Congratulations to the Dallas Morning News, this year's Best Practices winner. On behalf of the Dallas Morning News, I want to thank the NABJ for this Best Practices Award. Uh, this honor is extra special for me. Uh, because we've been on a mission at the Dallas Morning News to try to become the news source for all of North Texas, not just a single demographic group here in North Texas. We also believe in partnerships, and all the credit here really goes to Cheryl Smith and the Texas Metro News team. Um, without her partnership and without her putting the trust in us to give us access to her sources and to encourage them to trust us, this would have not come to fruition. Also, I want to give credit into our own newsroom. Jamie Hancock has been the glue that has really kept this partnership alive and really been an example for us to, to teach the community that the Dallas Morning News can be trusted because we can be reliable. In closing, we both, uh, I know Cheryl at Texas Metro News and us at the Dallas Morning News, we just be, believe that especially in this day and age, we are better when we work together. Partnerships really do work and we believe that we can help make communities like North Texas better and stronger by working together. NABJ's thumbs down is given to an individual or organization whose practices are at odds with the goals of the National Association of Black Journalists. This year, we call on Walter E. Hussman Jr. and the Board of Trustees of the University of North Carolina to improve their practices because of their role in a tenure fiasco with Pulitzer Prize-winning investigative journalist Nicole Hannah-Jones. Last year, Hannah-Jones was offered a five-year appointment to become the school's next night chair of journalism. The appointment did not include an offer of tenure, even though it was given to previous chair holders. Afterwards, it was revealed that media mogul Walter E. Hussman Jr. had quietly emailed several top university officials criticizing Hannah Jones' hiring and her work in leading the New York Times 1619 Project, the groundbreaking work on the bitter legacy of slavery. Hussman Jr. is the publisher of the Arkansas Democrat Gazette newspaper and a $25 million donor to the university. UNC's journalism school bears his last name. Initially, Hussman declined to comment when asked about the email saying his company's code of conduct prevented him from publicly taking sides. He did not say whether that same code prevented him from privately influencing public officials on a contentious issue. The trustees say the publisher did not pressure them, and eventually the school reversed course and offered Hannah Jones tenure. But the controversy lasted for months and needlessly held up the appointment of a black female journalist to a tenured position at a time when all schools need tenured faculty of color.
All right, so over the past 20 plus years, Annie BJ has sought to pay homage to the journalists who have made outstanding contributions uh, to the industry, crowning them with our highest honor. That is the induction into the NABJ Hall of Fame. It's a big deal. Please join me now in welcoming our first 2021 inductee. She's also a member of the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame, by the way. Award-winning sports journalist, Claire Smith. The life and times of Claire Smith are historic chapters in the book of sports writers. She has not only covered baseball for nearly 40 years, her presence and exceptional performance has changed the sport. She is frequently named one of Africa's most controversial journalists. Anas Armea Anas is from Ghana. Going undercover with hidden cameras and in disguise, he's become famous for what he calls his name, shame, and jail style of journalism. The stories have covered everything from fake COVID cures to corruption in sports to human trafficking. The crimes revealed in his investigations have landed a number of people in prison and have made him the target of serious threats. Anas's work has been published by media groups across the globe and has been praised by leaders like Barack Obama and Bill Gates. Anas Ramea Anas is the winner of the Percy the Foreign Journalist of the Year Award. These are your 2021 Salute to Excellence winners in digital media, interactive news, how American police gear up to respond to protests, CNN Digital, online project news, all when police dogs are weapons. The Marshall Project, New York, New York, AL.com, Birmingham, Alabama, Indy Star, Indianapolis, Indiana, Invisible Institute, Chicago, Illinois. Sports. A PGA veteran's callous joke about blackface and Tiger Woods turned into a lesson on empathy. Michael Williams, the undefeated, Washington, D.C. Here are your 2021 NABJ Salute to Excellence winners. Magazine, General Reporting. Remembering Red Summer when white mobs massacred black. Hi there. <laughs> I think it, it, it froze on you there, Sia. I know, which is okay. Which is okay. We just wanted to show a little piece of uh, of how we did the awards um, virtually over these last few years. So I want we want to leave enough time to make sure we answer uh, all of your questions. We only have fifteen minutes left. Oh, and if you have a question about registration and vaccination questions. Email registration at nabj.org. You will be required to have proof of vaccination before you come to the convention. So um, you can be recalcitrant about whether or not you want to get the jab, but no shot, no love at the NABJ convention this summer. And if you already have your vaccination and you have clear membership, you can create a, a clear digital vaccination card that will be honored. So as we get ready to wrap, are there any other questions uh, for any of us or for uh, anyone in the national office that we can answer about this process? You can start submitting your submissions now. The portal is open. And um, we checked uh, the last few days and we had some submissions. So um, don't wait until the last minute because <laughs> yeah. there are there, yeah. there will not be an extension this year. They're going to be st sticking to that that deadline. Well, we have another Zoom meeting. Um, not sure at this time. I don't know because we may t we'll take a look at where we stand, like probably a week or two before the uh, the portal closes. Uh, right. But he who hesitates can be lost, so don't hesitate. Get on it. Get it taken care of. You know that way you can take your time and not be rushed when you're submitting. 
And I, I, we have to say that this is being streamed uh, and uploaded uh, to NABJ's uh, NABJ channel, YouTube channel. So uh, for those of you who might have missed the beginning and, and you want to go back and listen, you can do that online. Like it's it's up there right away. OK, Chris Murray has a question. His member his application says I'm not a member when he had already renewed his membership. Uh oh. At which point you'll probably want to uh, reach out to Veronique, who can Veronique. double check and make sure that the database has your correct membership status. And we have another uh, question. Um, I did a story about a classmate of mine surviving a rare heart condition. He is African American. However, looking at the categories, I'm unsure if I should submit. It's a health feature, but not solely focused on the black community. Is it eligible? Did you speak? Uh, 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 I mean, was there anything? You know, is he, you know, did you talk anything about the disparity uh, with African Americans, Black people, and, and our heart problems that we are this much higher because of this and that? So it just depends because we do see that a lot. Sometimes we're like, hey, this story didn't really say anything about. It, it didn't really pertain to us. So that would be my, yeah. wouldn't you say, Mr. Greg? Yeah, I think one of the things you want to make sure is when we're, we're entrusted to tell people's stories, yes, we tell an individual story. But if we're talking about something that's really important to the uh, communities of color, we should also include some context so that we can understand why this is important. For example, why it's important for African Americans to be vaccinated against COVID. Why do we? Why should black men be getting prostate exams on a regular basis? Mm -hmm. You know, why are we looking at issues of cancer? You know, why the why why why? And that way you can make it so it's people who may not live in that same town but can recognize, oh, that that affects me here as well. You know, the original standard for the NABJ salute to excellence was an honest and accurate portrayal of the black experience. That's all we're asking for now an honest and accurate portrayal of the black experience. Yes, I know that shows my age, but you know, I admit it. Not at all. Uh, thank you, Laura, for that. Yeah, I think this is a good idea um, to, to do something like this. Cause like I said, we do get a lot of questions and uh, we wanna be able to, to get to people, talk to people. Uh, before they start submitting. So thank you. Okay, there's a notation that someone said they couldn't say the chat. And, or the Q&A, we well, know we did not say, I don't have a way to say the Q&A or the chat. Um, or cut and paste the, the, quest, the instructions. Now that one's got me a little confused. <laughs> Let me see. Are we okay? I'm not sure. Um, let me, I'll ask Vanessa. But those are the kind of things they you know. Um, hopefully, you've been taking notes through this process, and since it will be rebroadcast on the NABJ YouTube channel, you can simply play this back and get your questions answered <clears throat> or review how we answered the questions. That way, it's not like it's going away, going into the ether. It, it will be there. Instructions are, are on the site, yeah. Can we rewatch this on Facebook? Yeah. Um, we... I'm not sure. I would think so. I would think so. It's uh, all the videos yes. are posted. Yes, yeah. we can. Yes, you can. Okay. The uh, office staff tells us, yes, you will be able to rewatch it. Because I don't know what time it is where you are in West Africa, but I know it's like, oh, dark 30. <clears throat> so, you know, go back to sleep. And then when you get up in the morning, have your coffee, you can rewatch it. <laughs> and uh, look around. Um, ah, stay up for the good news from NABJ. Uh, look around the work you did last year. Sometimes the uh, best work is something you didn't think was all that. But when you look back in perspective, it's like, Oh, wow, that really made a difference. <coughs> Again, forgive me, the sinuses and the pollen here are killing me. Yeah, yeah, so. 
we can do that. And um, if you have any questions, again, drop a note, awards at uh, nabj.org. Office staff will pass them along to us if there's something we can re respond to. But May 31st is a hard deadline. 5 o'clock Eastern. 5 o'clock Eastern. 5 o'clock Eastern. Did I say that enough times? <laughs> You know, um, because we really don't want folks at the last minute. I tried to get in. It was the last day. I, the system was crashing. Don't it, wait. And it happens. It happens, you all. It does. So. And, you know, you, and like Chris did, you can go ahead and start your process, save it, and then, you know, do the finished submission. You know, because sometimes, let's face it, we don't have the cash right there. <clears throat> oh. Oh. or the room on the credit card um so any our deadline is midnight pacific time i stand corrected until uh three yeah three a.m our, our good time here on the east coast yeah so but still sooner than later sooner than later but if you do if you have any questions please email awards at nabj.org and some one of us will go right back to you and do the best we can to get you that uh that that answer and again, we'll tell you, we'll not tell you how the judging process works. We will no. not give away sneak peeks. No. You can try to bribe us. We, we, we <laughs> will take gifts, but, you know, we're not going to give you the answers. Okay. And also, make sure you talk to uh, other chapter members and other NABJ members, either in your shop or that you may know, to let them know, now's the time. Show me your best shot. And we'll look to see you in Vegas. I'm yes. so excited about that. You have no idea. Yeah. And by the way, uh, if you're going to fly to Vegas, go ahead and buy your tickets now. They're not going to get cheaper. They're not, unfortunately. So. <clears throat> so do that. And um, are there any other questions we can answer? Yeah, we're winding down. We got a four more minutes, and then uh, I think this the Zoom will go poof. <laughs> all right well if there's no more questions we'll go ahead and leave you all to your evening again uh any questions send them to awards at nabj.org uh we are happy to help you out you know we definitely are cheering all our members on and wish them well as they uh submit their work we know you all did good work this past year so yeah and work that you should be really proud of Okay. Well, it looks like we've answered most of the questions. I'm sure someone will call later on with a question. <laughs> we'll just try to go that way. Yeah. Uh, again, if you have questions about registration, register at nabj.org. Awards, awards at nabj.org. That way it'll go to the right person and we'll get you an answer as fast as we can. Thank you all very much for participating. You guys have a good night. Be safe. See you soon. <laughs>